welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are back here again today, Thursday, and kicking off again with this Raikou team that we played on Monday and Tuesday this week. Had a bit of a fun episode yesterday where we introduced Tyranitar to this call and see how it got on. And it was an incredible episode. If you've missed yesterday's episode, definitely go back up there. I'll put a card in. You can check that out. But we're going to get back into it today with the Raikou that's been doing so well from the start of the week. And hopefully you're looking forward to it as much as I am. But before we get into it, just to remind you guys, if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure you do drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series that we have out. Our guide series, our Flintsword Circuit, and our stream uploads, and all sorts of other stuff that we have coming out. But uh, we'll get straight into it. Hop on to the battle spot letter. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. We'll get some music on. There we go. It's, that's, it's right. It's right. And we'll pick a track. Um, we had an incredible match against Juan yesterday from Spain uh, to end the episode on, so I'd highly recommend going to watch that really solid team, really high high level play from Juan. So um, just shut down our options super super well and uh, made it very difficult for us to kind of pilot the, the Pokemon that we brought. Hindsight, we could have brought different Pokemon, but you know, hindsight is a beautiful thing and you can't go back. We are searching for our first opponent. If it does take a little bit too long, I will cut this and we'll come straight back to when we find our first opponent of the day. So we've got our first opponent of the episode and it's going to be ZG. And they are playing a team of... Let's get into team preview, guys. We are going to see the Xerneas, Incineroar, Amoongus, Lunala, Tapu Lele and the Cartana. So a really nice test for our team today going up against us in... The Zernala team, or Loon's, uh, there's not another way to say it, is there? But yeah, we know what this is all about. The Zerni is going to be trying to set up the Lunala supporting with its just crazy, powerful potential Z move that it's got there. Um, and then potentially Psych up as well. You've got the support options there with the Amoongus with the redirection, its spore support. You've got the Incineral with its Intimidate, Fake Out support. The Tapu Lele going to prevent Fake Out support and really support the Lunala as well with its Psychic type attacks. And then the Cartana rounding things off there for my opponent, giving them a Steel type to utilize as well. Questions, questions, questions that we've got. Um, Incineroar is going to be super good for us here just because of the Lunala. The Cartana and Intimidate there is going to be very useful as well. I'm going to bring Raikou because it's it's built for this sort of matchup 100%. I'm going to bring Sogaleo and I think Tapu Fini here will bench Zygarde for this one. And uh, we'll rely on these four. So we'll get into it and we'll just wait for my opponent to make their selections here. I think Sogaleo in this match is going to be really important for us, especially with that psychic terrain and potentially the Tapalele come to this match to support the Sogaleo. At least with Raikou as well, if we go for that combination um, of Snarl and then the Z move into the Lunala, we'll be able to handle it pretty pretty well. Um, but it's going to be all about making sure that we're preserving Sogaleo for that late game when the Xerneas is likely going to be set up. Uh, we've got the Snarl early game that we can make use of with our Raikou. Um, and we are going to see the Cartana Lunala lead off for my opponent. So we've got that we've got that pretty free turn now just to Snarl with the Raikou. Go for the fake out into the Cartana. We'll probably see the Lunala protect the Incineroar come in for my opponent on the Cartana side. It makes me want to switch out. Incineral here, uh, at least you turn into the Cartana and not go for a fake out and just go for that Snarl with our Raikou. Because I, I totally expect my opponent just to, to protect the Lunala here. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, switching the, the Incineral on the Cartana slot. So they've got the Intimidate there. They've got the fake out support going into the next turn to let and give that Lunala a little bit more room to operate. So we're seeing Cartana switch out. Tepulele going to come in, going to try and actually avoid any fake out support here so we might see the lunala protect again but uh yeah we do okay that's fine we'll get the snarl onto the tapu lele which i mean is is perfectly exactly what we want to be doing we keep the incineral in the back as well we'll get some a little bit of chip onto the lele which is always useful here we'll get the u-turn into that tapu lele um, we, we've got the option now to bring in sogaleo or we can just change the terrain which i feel more inclined to do um, because then we've got the icy wind support. We take away the psychic terrain as well, which is weakening the Lunala even further. We'll probably see the Lunala switch out this next turn as well. You've got to imagine. Um, probably wanting to avoid any snarl damage 
from this Raikou that we're going to throw out this turn because we're just going to go straight for it again. I think another Icy Wind from uh, Tapu Fini here and we'll just go for another Snarl here and just keep that pressure on my opponent's side of the field. Make them and force them out and force them to switch things in to get hit by Icy Winds. So we're taking advantage of it. We're going to see a Thunderbolt though come out from the Tapu Lele. Not something you see too often here is revealing its scarf but we're going to be able to reduce its attack down, break that Shadow Shield on the Lunala and reduce further reduce that Tapulele special attack again so it really helps us set up that next board the next turn board position wise we're going to see the Z move come out from this Lunala where is it going to be into but again we're going to have to cut this scene guys so we'll be back when it does make contact with its target it is going to be into the Tapu Fini here. We should be able to take it with the Snarl. It should just proc a berry for us. Yep, just putting us in that berry range. Lovely. And uh, we're in a nice position to get this Icy Wind off this next turn. And really start making some progress in this battle. Because we know the Cortana's in the back. If the Cortana switches in, it takes a Snarl. It takes an Icy Wind. It's going to be in a really awkward position going into the next turn. If the Xerneas switches in, it's going to take an Icy Wind, a Snarl. And then it'll take a double Snarl before we can get a Geomancy off. And we can just continually do this until we really wear down this team and make an opening for Sogaleo to come in. Once that Lunala is gone, Sogaleo can come in and just really quite easily clean this game up for us today. So um, once again, Raikou doing so much work for us already in this game. Game's not over by any means, but we, we, we've got to feel quite good about where we are and, and position wise right now. So see what my opponent does. They're switching the Lunala out makes a lot of sense. Cortana coming back in. Like I say, what's happening though is we're going to get this Icy Wind off, this Snarl off, break a potential Sash on the Cortana, reveal that it's not a Salt Vest as well, so it probably is Sash. Uh, it's going to be slower than our Raikou going into this next turn. Another Thunderbolt coming out from the Tapu Lele um, as we get this Icy Wind now and uh, do some nice damage and uh, that Cortana should be in Snarl range. Uh, probably not, um, Thunderbolt range um, going into this next turn. <clears throat> but again, we can just go for another Icy Wind and uh, we don't really worry too much about this Tapu Lele here. And we'll just go for a Thunderbolt into the Cortana that will pick up the knockout there. It does give my opponent free switch into potentially a Xerneas here. Um, but again, we've got the Snarl that we can really make it, take advantage of. And we've got a, a great switch into Sogaleo if we want to at any point. And because Tapu Fini's out on the field now, we won't take the Tapu Lele. Oh, we do take the Tapu Lele down. Very nice. Single target. I see wind. Very strong. Very strong. Okay. Uh, Lunala's going to come back in. It's Shadow Shield's broken. Um, the Xerneas is going to come probably in, pairing up alongside that. There's always the side cup we've got to be a little bit wary of. Um, but if we can icy wind, snarl it, and just keep this pressure up on my opponent, it makes it a lot easier for when Sogaleo comes onto the field to really deal with that Xerneas that it's there to do in this team. So again, we'll go for the icy wind, and this turn we will go for another snarl. It means the Xerneas is only on plus one, plus one going into this next turn. Um, and like I say, Raikou can take a plus one Moonblast from a boosted Xerneas, so... Uh, it's just about getting the snarl off onto these two Pokemon. <clears throat> There's a snarl. It doesn't miss. That's so important. We get nice damage onto this Lunala. Reduce the special attack on both targets. Um, I wonder if they just chase down attack-wise. I would say I'd go for the Geomancy here, though. Yeah, we might see the Psych up. Which wouldn't be great for us at all. Um, it really wouldn't. Because it does cause a few issues. But we still have Incineroar. We still have Incineroar. So it's not the end of the world. Moonguys Beam. Not going to see the Psych up. This is fine. Where's this into? Tapu Fini? Or Raikou? Yeah, into that Raikou. It's so threatening. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And we'll get the Icy Wind. So we'll outspeed the Lunala going into this next turn. Which is nice. Um... We have to be a bit careful around this Xerneas though. That's the other, that's the big problem. Um, I think what I'll do is just protect Raikou here and go for another Icy Wind because if we can get another Icy Wind onto this Xerneas, it means Raikou outspeeds it the next turn, then we can Snarl it. We definitely take an attack from this Xerneas um, and we probably nab the Lunala as well. If we can get just the Icy Wind off, 
with the Tapu Fini here. So we'll protect Raikou. Hopefully the Xerneas chases it down. Moonblast into that slot. Perfect. Like I say, we're going to get this Icy Wind off. Even if that Lunala goes for the Psych Up now, it's not going to really gain anything because we'll outspeed it with our Raikou. Be able to potentially take it down in the next turn. Potentially, I don't know. It's just a Moon Guys Beam into that slot, chasing the Raikou down. And Raikou is running this show. Um... I mean, what we'll do as well, we'll go for a heal pulse into our Raikou just to heal off any any damage from this this Xerneas here. We'll go for another Snarl, and like I say, this this resets the Geomancy boosts, and um, we couldn't really ask for a better example of why Ra the Raikou's in this team and what it's here to do because it's just doing it like absolutely flawlessly here. Um, it really is. The Geomancy boost's gone from the Xerneas now. It's got that special defensive boost. It's not got its speed boost. I'm going to see the Moon Blast into it. And um, we're, we're just opening the door now for the Sogaleo to come in. So we'll take that pretty comfortably. Get a special attack drop. A little bit unfortunate there. Proc this berry though. Get all that nice juicy health back. And then the heal pulse on top of that. Putting Raikou. My opponent's probably cursing Raikou right now thinking, What can I do to get rid of it? <laughs> you need Groudon, my friend. Groudon does a pretty decent job again. It. Um, but so now we can just bring in Sogaleo, and um, like I say, we can just continually go for these snarls and uh, just keep pressuring this this Xerneas. But I feel like yeah, there's the forfeit. It's a very good game to my opponent. But like I say, what a beautiful way for us to feature that Raikou. I mean. If you talk about like one Pokemon being there specifically for a certain matchup that we struggled with so hard before, and it does it so well, it alleviates it. It's such a good answer for it, and it does so well. Um, really great to just be able to feature this on the channel, honestly. Um, it really is nice to feature this sort of thing. When when it goes right, it's perfect, because so many times these, these things that you test out go wrong, and then you know, you're never able to actually put them into motion I, like in, a, in an episode so just being able to do it's really nice we will look for our next opponent and hopefully it doesn't take too long and it doesn't so we've got Winmore from the United States on 1627 rating playing a team off let's get into it this might be a bit more difficult this one we've got Lunala, Groudon, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Stack Attacker and Serena so we've got that kind of tagged on Incineroar, Serena and uh, stack attack a core there. I'm pretty sure this is very similar to the team that Alex Underhill ran at Collinsville and came in second place with it. So it's going to be a really good test. I'm, I, is it going to be Trick Room Lunala to support the Groudon? You've definitely got a Trick Room mode there with the stack attacker. Could also be, you can't discount, maybe possible Tailwind there. Um, Raikou has a bit of a harder time in this match, but Zygarde has a real good time in this match. I think Incineroar does really well we need to probably bring in Sinero for sure for the intimidate support and uh, we can't fake out remember that the Serena is there so we can't be so willy-nilly with just throwing that around and um, I think I will bring Raikou the, the the reflect support here is going to be really good especially the the snarl support as well that we can offer from both Incinero and Raikou but that reflect that we can get up really going to help us against the ground on the stack attacker and specifically that Serena I'm going to go Zygarde and then Tapu Fini here and then um, I think we can lock in pretty safely there. So good luck to win more. And he's got all his Koma O gear on. Looking, looking dapper as you are, my friend. That Koma O armor. I still love it. You know, I've seen it so many times. But I'm always like, it's just, it's, it's a good outfit. It's a solid choice of outfit for your avatar. Right, let's get into it. Raikou, can we do it once again? Lunala Incineroar. Perfect. Let's see where the Intimidates rock up. See some speed tears here for ourselves. There's the pressure. And our Intimidates. So we can potentially... We can potentially fake out that opposing Incineroar. But do we do it? Like, they probably switch out into Groudon. Which makes me want to U-turn on it. But if they don't, and they fake out Raikou, and we get Z-moved, GG. So we can't afford to allow that to happen. So we've got to fake out the Incineroar, and just go for a Snarl. If the Groudon comes in, we'll adjust next turn. Okay, okay, that's fine. We don't, we don't, we stop that, that's good. And we get the Snarl off into the Lunala, get some nice damage onto it. 
really stop pressuring it like we did in that last game. Critical hit, a bit unfortunate, but I'm going to make too much difference. I wonder if we see Z move here. And there's the trick room. Trick room. Okay. That's fine. That's completely fine. We do not mind that at all. The Lunala's feeling super pressured here. Um, what we're going to do is get our reflect up to kind of patch up any any weaknesses going into this next game. I'm going to U-turn as well with our Incineroar onto the opposing Incineroar. Um, and I'm just going to keep Raikou in just to get this reflect up. It's going to be really important if we see this Groudon come in in these next couple of turns. Lunala are going to switch out. We are going to see Tapu Fini hit the field. It's exactly like what we're wanting to do. But we don't need to bring in our Finny now. We can bring in our Zygarde. Which is kind of interesting. Puts in Incineroar. Goes for the U-turn. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you going? Into Groudon, I'd imagine. There's Big Bad Groudon. Okay. This is, this is alright. We'll get the reflector. It's so important for us right now. It really is. Get the U-turn off, get a bit of chip damage into this Groudon, which is, like I say, super important for us. And um, we'll get Zygarde in. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to do it. Pretty much. And with the Reflect, with the Misty Seed boost, I mean, we're sitting pretty... Pretty nice right now. Uh, we can get Incineroar in the next turn. So we've got the fake out pressure. Um, and I think. Do we go coil? Oh, just 1000 arrows. I think just get some damage off onto stuff. I think that is the way forward. We'll get Incineroar back in right now. We don't need to rely on Incineroar as much in this match because we've got the Snarl on the Raikou that can deal quite nicely with that Lunala late game once the Trick Room's ended. It's all about just supporting our, our Zygarde right now. If the Incineroar decides to come in, it's going to take a thousand arrows. That's why I want to punish it. I'm going to see a gravity. Okay. Well, I don't mind that too much. Unless this is like banded Groudon, which could be a little bit awkward. But the Reflect then will be really helping us out. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that does some big damage to Incineroar. Not so much to um, a Zygarde. But we are able to get this thousand arrows off, which is which is really nice. Um, and do some uh, not great damage. We need to get our Finny in and get a Swagger off. Um, okay, let's get another thousand arrows underway and let's get Tapu Finny in now. We've got to worry about Icy Wind as well with the Finny, but I mean, if it does start Icy Winding as I got. We're just going to be better in Trick Room, so I don't know if they're going to do that. Um, Nature's Madness could definitely be the thing that comes out. You never know, you might see a Tapu Fini. This could have Moonblast. Could have Moonblast. Definitely could. Gil Pulse, that's fine, because we're going to start doing that ourselves. But we're going to Swagger first before we do anything else. Uh, there's another Presbyterian Blades. The Gravity doing all the work here. Not going to miss. Not going to take any chances but this is perfect because we're going to get a complete form going into this next turn we'll just keep chipping away with zygarde we're not in any any wow critical hit wow <laughs> critical hit and it does that much damage that's ridiculous isn't it i mean it just shows the reliance on zygarde how reliant it is on the um on the swagger boosting and the coils and stuff like that it really it really does depend on it quite heavily um, we'll go for another thousand arrows and we'll go for a swagger here into the Zygarde. So it's got gravity, it's got heal pulse, it's definitely got nature's madness. What else has got? Icy wind? Icy wind, I would say. Maybe haze. I don't know if you need haze in this team though, you got stack attacker to kind of deal. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okie doke. There's the haze. I'm gonna get the thousand arrows off. I'm not proc the berry on the finny, which is nice. Getting the precipice blades. This reflect here is gonna help us to no end. Yeah, and there's the berry on the finny. And then we'll get the swagger. It does hit. This is perfect. Now, if the dimensions turn back to normal, that would be 
ideal. Perfect. Here we go. Back in the game, boys. Back in the game. Because we can take this Finny down now. We'll outspeed everything. We can heal Pulse as I got and really start sweeping through. And uh, maybe get a Zygarde sweep this game, which would be perfect, because we haven't had a complete Zygarde domination yet. There we are, plus two. I don't expect the plus two to take down this Groudon, but anything switching in here is going to take a massive chunk of damage from this plus two um, thousand arrows. And like I say, we're going to be able to heal Pulse first, and uh, we will be able to outspeed this type of Finny, so it's fine. I mean, Incineroar coming in, that's fine as well. It's going to take a massive chunk of damage. It's got, obviously, um, Intimidate support going into this next turn. But we've still got our Incineroar in the back. And uh, we've still got our Reflect up as well. For at least one more turn, I believe. Uh, the Groudon actually outspeeds as I got. It's really taking some big damage there. We'll get these 1,000 hours off. At least plus one. Oof. Just missing the knockout on that Incineroar. Does proc the berry, of course. And the sunlight does fade now. Reflect war off. Okay. Is it better to... No, I think we need to keep our heal pulse. If we can. If we can keep the heal pulse, it would be very useful for us. Um, yeah, because... Yeah, I think this is the best thing. I think we get Incineroar in. We probably lose Incineroar now. Um, does the opposing Incineroar go for a U-turn though? It's really risky doing it. You're kind of banking on us protecting. Because um, we could just Thousand Hours. I think you've got to fake out and Precipice Blades here. I really do. <clears throat> But the end position that we want to try and get ourselves in, if this Groudon goes down, is get Raikou next to this Zygod. So we've got that Snarl support against the potential uh, Lunala when it comes back in. So get the Intimidate onto the Groudon, which is the most important thing here. We're going to just protect Zygod, avoid any fake out. Support here it means the Incineroar staying in. So if we do go down to a Precipice Blades, which we, we probably will here, I don't suspect from the original damage when we switched in, we'll probably go down. Yeah, and um, I think what we'll do is get Raikou in right now because we can reflect once again. And I think both both targets now are in range to go down to a thousand hours plus one thousand hours yeah we're going to take Groudon and Incineroar down one fell swoop one fell swoop so we'll go for that thousand hours although it's a little bit risky because we're slower than the Groudon with as I got which is a little bit awkward and we need Raikou to deal with the Lunala well enough so I think we're probably better off protecting Raikou yeah at least one turn. We need to keep the Raikou. Let's not rush ourselves into this one. Um, and yeah, my opponent's setting up the end game where they're potentially going to try and get Incineroar in next to the Lunala. But we've st as long as we've got one Pokemon in the back, we can switch out to reposition to get Raikou back in um, and get around this fake out abuse that we're going to see. Potentially coming out, we're going to see Groudon throw out another Precipice Blades. Critical hit. That could have been so, so bad for us. Like, really bad for us. We're not actually going to get the Groudon either, which is really frustrating. <sighs> Critical hit. Not good. Lunala comes in now. If Lunala comes in, I don't mind this because we just snarl. The Groudon goes down to a snarl. It has to be the Incineroar. It has to be. It has to be. And we can just double fit. Mm, we can't protect with, with Raikou though. That's the only issue. It's going to be Lunala. Okay. This is fine. So fine. So fine. Um, I mean, we'll cover the Groudon just in case the Snarl misses. And we'll go for that Snarl. 
Because the Lunala isn't isn't beating Raikou. No chance. My opponent knows we've got extreme speed as well, so it's likely they protect Groudon here. Or withdraw it. I mean, yeah, keep it for later on. We're going to see another Trick Room set up. But again, if we get another Snarl off. Okay, that's fine. We don't see the Trick Room set up just yet. So my opponent's going to make a call next turn whether they want to see. Hmm. Uh, okay, I mean my opponent's playing this really well to kind of keep themselves in it here. Uh, the critical hit onto Zygarde was not ideal at all. Uh, we've got Finny in the back, which isn't really what we need, especially to stop this Trick Room going up. Um, it's 1,000 hours, and I think we need to really prepare for, for the late game. With I mean, if Zygarde goes down here, though, then we, we pretty much lose against Groudon. So we need to protect Zygarde more than anything else and try and get a Reflect up. <sighs> or a Snarl. <laughs> it's really difficult. I think the Reflect overall is probably better for us. We're not going to be able to stop this Trick Room though. And the Fake Out probably comes into Zygarde. No, it's into Raikou. We could have attacked. Nah, hindsight. Yeah, there's the Trick Room. Hmm. Okay. The problem is for my opponent, they cannot they cannot just switch in Groudon at any point right now. Um so we can thousand hours. Although Incineroar probably takes Zygarde down. That's the problem. Um hmm. Yeah, we should have went for the Reflect. Oh, I mean, we did go for the Reflect, so we can only Snarl here. We can only Snarl. So Groudon switches in now. Okay. We'll get the Groudon. This might be the time where the Groudon's... Like, you ha I think you have to. You can't guarantee taking the Raikou down. Unless you've got the Z-move here. Because we can't... We can't... We didn't Snarl it. It probably takes us down. And this is really good game plan planning from my opponent like really good game planning yeah yeah I mean you gotta just take your hat off to my opponent here they've played it so well um, the crit I will say definitely didn't help nah nah that's it that's it yeah so the Raikou going down uh, that's the game for us unfortunately uh, because Finney has not got has not got protect so we cannot even stall out these turns and with how low health we are um, it's just a little bit unfortunate like I say though the one problem with this whole thing was really there was that crit from the P blades from the the minus one Groudon I think it was still behind a reflect as well um, which put Zygarde into a position it should have never really been in but besides the fact of that my opponents played it so well um, so we cannot we cannot have any qualms about how the games ended up um, and it's just the, the team's been piloted extremely well um, so um, it's really nice seeing a team piloted so well so very good game to my opponent we're gonna see the Moongeist beam into the Tapu Fini to take us down but what a great game for us to feature today guys what a great game I hope you've all enjoyed it it has been a fun one it's been an intense one to play it has it really has um, but it's been a lot of fun all the same and very good game to my opponent win more good game my friend and uh, what a close game just that tiny crit we're not going to complain about RNG we're not going to complain it would have been nice to see without it but because uh, I think it wouldn't have I don't think it made the difference like that crit obviously did make a big difference but I don't know how it would have ended up the game overall um, you still had the Z move on Lunala so there's still a lot of things to kind of compensate for and deal with on my opponent's end of the field so we can't just say oh if you did, didn't crit us there we, we would have won it's not the case it really it really isn't I think like we need to think mm, it would have been a lot closer than it was and it was close anyway so um, anyway 
We're not going to talk about the RNG anymore. It was just really fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're going to end it up there. Have a great day, guys. Whatever you're up to, whatever time of day it is. And I will see you all for our roundup with this team tomorrow, which is a little bit sad. But we're going to finish up tomorrow with the team and uh, say goodbye to our good old friend Zygon and Sogaleo. It's been a really good ride. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.